So you rolled your window down and then you went to roll it back up and it won't roll up. In this video I'm going to talk about the most common cause and what to do about it. Now there could be several problems that could cause this. I mean it could be something electrical, something to switch, but most of the time that I've ever repaired these it's the window regulator. And whenever it rolls down the, the strap or the cable breaks in there and it won't roll up or down. If, if it is your window regulator and you hit your switch or up and down switch you're still going to hear it in there. Also a lot of times if that cable breaks you can get your window and you can slide it up and down. And for a quick fix like today it's cold and nasty out here and I don't have the part I'm gonna to have to order that you know that you can raise this up up to your window and use some duct tape to go around the top and stick to the glass just to hold it for the time being so if this happened to you don't worry because it happened to me too and in my rear window I'm gonna show you the steps I took I'm replacing the regulator on a 2007 Nissan Titan this is the left rear door and uh, I'm going to be replacing that. Now I've already taken the door panel off and if you need to know how to do that I've got another video and I'll put a link to that video down in the description. What I'm doing now is removing the vapor barrier and this just helps protect it from air, moisture and things like that getting inside your pickup. So you want to be careful not to tear it and try to get it off without ruining it. It's just a, it got adhesive that holds it on. So if you take your time removing it you shouldn't rip it or anything like that because you do want this back on for that protection. But anyway, I'm taking that off. And note, I don't have to take my speaker and some of those other components off. I just need to get enough access to get to the bolts for the window regulator. So I'm going to take that off very carefully. And I'll get that off and show you where the regulator's at. Okay, I got the vapor barrier out of the way and I'm showing you where a couple of the regulator bolts are. There's a couple on top there and there's a couple on bottom. I'm going to give you a close up here in a little bit. But we also got to get to the uh, glass, the, 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 where the regulator holds the glass on. We need to remove that so we can get the glass out of the way. And here's a close up of the two bolts. You can get through those access holes to be able to remove the glass from the window regulator. There's one right there and then there's one in that other hole. So I may have to position the glass a little bit to get align that with the bolts. Then I can get my 10 millimeter socket which takes an extension and I can remove those two bolts and then I can raise the glass up to get it out of the way. Then I'll move the other side and remove it and there's just two bolts that hold the window on. Then I can raise the window up once those are removed so I can get the glass out of the way. So I raise the glass and you can see that I have a suction cup that straddles over the top of the door, holds the glass up, keeps it out of the way, keeps it from falling when you're replacing the regulator. They come in real handy. If you don't have that, you could use duct tape or have someone help you. So, and uh, so what I'm, undo what I'm doing now is I'm starting to remove the, the bolts that hold the regulator in. Like I said, there's a couple down here on the bottom and then there's a few on top. So I'm removing those. and get those out and, uh, and then I'm going to disconnect the wire because the the, radi the window regulator does have a wire that runs the motor so you need to disconnect that from the door so that when you put the new one in you know you can run that reroute that wire through there and reclip it to the door panel so when you put the, the interior trim pan panel on you know you'll be able to clip it on real easy and like I said if you need a, a video showing you how to remove the door panel and put it back on I'll put a link down in the description because I did a separate video for that so now I'm removing the top two and on one of these top two bolts it's slotted you don't want to remove it all the way because it kind of helps you align it when you're putting it back in so you'll need to take that bolt out and put it into the new regulator before you put it back in because it will help you uh, align it. So right there you can see how it kind of slid out of that slotted area and that bolt is still in the regulator so just loosen that one up. Once you get it loose you just kind of start working it out and uh, you may have to adjust it and, and play with it just a little bit to get the way you, you want and then once you've got it you know it comes out pretty easy. And you can see this uh, cable's broke pretty bad on this one so um, and, that, and that's usually the case. The cable breaks. Some of them have st plastic straps or whatever. And this is the most common problem. But once you get it out, and if you've ordered your other and went to the parts store and got another regulator, uh, you want to get it out. Once you get it out, you want to make sure it's the identical. You know, the same bolt pattern. You know, it fits the same size of the door. Uh, because you don't want to be trying to put it in and didn't do this part, wondering why you can't get it to fit. But this one did. Everything fit. Or aligned correctly so I lucked out on that one 
and I did get that one bolt for that slotted hole up there and I put it in so I'll, I'll put that slotted hole in first that bolt and then that will help me align the rest of them and once I get that in then I can start aligning the rest of the holes to the to the bolts so I've got that in and now I can kind of slide the regulator up or down until you know the all the bolt patterns align up and once they once they do that I'll just hand tighten them all in and uh, then I'll come back with the ratchet and tighten them down but I like to get everything hand tight first to make sure everything's fitting up right and the way it should uh, before I start tightening them down so I'm just uh, hand tightening this one right here and again you may have to reach your hand back in there and kind of push back and forth to get it all to the line and there's that one bolt right there I didn't mention at the beginning I kind of found it after I started but there is another bolt down there on the bottom so you can probably find these regulators on Amazon uh, your parts store if you wanted to go with a dealer item I'm sure you could get one you know an OEM uh, window regulator this one is aftermarket and don't forget to pull that uh, wire to your motor that's coming in you know be sure and route it back through the hole that it went through so that you can clip it up and you can plug it in when you put your door panel back in so now I am dropping the window so that the window can meet with the window regulator mounts and I will drop that down to the align and then I'll do the same thing I'll kind of use the, the extension in the socket to hand tighten those two 10 millimeter bolts on and then I will come back with a ratchet and snug them up tight uh, and again with any of this this does not take a lot of uh, torque I mean you don't want to tighten anything up too tight that could cause problems could cause damage and then you uh, you know if you strip something out then you're in a mess so okay now we've got all the bolts tightened down we've got them you know, hand tight then we ratchet them, them tight uh, we've got the wire for the window regulator routed through and now we're just pulling in the door handle cables and anything that needs to come through this uh, barrier we're pulling those through and then we can put this back on and this should stick back easily if you have a problem that's, that's not working well you can use a, something like weather strip adhesive or something like that to stick it on but this one stuck back on well and didn't have any problems with it so and that, my friends, is the most common window problem if it won't roll up and how to repair it. Thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video.